Hey now, and welcome down to KC Toy Reviews. We are here today with a very exciting review, and that's because, well, anything in the Spider-Man realm is very exciting. And of course, today is with Jamie Foxx's Electro from Spider-Man No Way Home. Arguably one of the best Spider-Man movies of all time, brings us one of Spider-Man's most classic villains ever. And well, everybody knows it, but all Hot Toys releases are pretty much amazing. So let's go ahead, fine comb some of those details, and dive right the hell goddamn in. All right, so here we are again with Jamie Foxx's Electro from Spider-Man No Way Home. And of course, any Spider-Man fan would know this is not Jamie Foxx's first round as Electro. We have an arc reactor right at the dead center of this that's powering a more realistic viewed Electro suit. And then right away we can note in this shot, it also it comes with the mask that gives the classic Electro face, which has the same vibe as the old school Electro face and mask. And we only got to see this very briefly in the movie, but I'm super excited that Hot Toys included this. Now, let's go ahead and go over the accessories. I'm done. That's right. Everything you see in shot is what's included. We do have the stand that I'll show off at the end, but that's not necessarily an accessory. What the accessories are are these lightning bolts that we can basically just take on and off. We can take his eyes off here, and then this chest piece we can lift over his head. And then once all's done and said, we are left with this fantastic Jamie Foxx head sculpt. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's not the absolute best best head sculpt. There was people out there saying it's the best of all time, best Hot Toys has done. No, it's not the best they've ever done. Could they have done better? I mean, perhaps? Am I satisfied with what I have? Absolutely. I mean, Hot Toys absolutely puts so much love, care, and attention into these head sculpts. The paint application, the slight glisten to the eyes, the skin tones, and just the way those wrinkles flow perfectly into this very realistic human face is insane. I'm not sure I would ever keep him without that Electro mask. I mean, I love that remembrance of a classic Electro face. So on my shelf, I'm probably going to have all those lightning bolts all over him. But again, that's not to say that Hot Toys has clearly done a fantastic job with this head sculpt. Now, we can knock out a couple things in this shot alone. I mean, let's take attention to this electro wires, things that go all around him. They're, I mean, they're basically just 3D printed wires. Nothing to rave about. However, they look really good. They are free flowing. I'm a little bit scared over time what's going to happen to these, but so far, so good. The tailoring, the color, the contrast on the actual suit itself. I mean, it's fantastic. They did a good job. It hugs the body well. And then we should know that we only have single jointed elbows so the most you're going to get out of this guy he's already kind of stiff it's just basically a 90 degree right there and of course it's also a good time to show off these little metal magnet things on his arm really nice paint job on these as well same thing kind of going on back here. I mean, this part is 3D printed, so that's actually a big plastic piece right there. I don't know if anybody really cares. The rest is the suit there. In the same flow of those electro wires on the back, looks really, really amazing. These cargo looking pants are awesome. I don't know what it is, but this, this whole suit is really just put together really tightly. It's a brilliant set. Clearly it's simple, but the design looks nice. The flow looks amazing. And because of that, I think that we do also have a lot of longevity in this. We don't have seamless arms. Yeah. Somebody's going to bitch about there's no seamless arms on there, but because of that, this guy can probably last on your shelf the rest of his life. These pants also, because they're just cloth like this, I don't see any harm coming to these. And then articulation down here. I mean, I don't know. It's pretty stiff. The boot goes up past the ankle. So the overall articulation on the... Overall articulation is nothing to rave about. As we can see, there's a, a nice little bend to these. There's just a stereotypical ball joint. But because the boot comes up over the ankle, it stops it a little bit there. Single jointed elbows. And then the legs... Pretty obvious that they're going to be double jointed. Yeah, double jointed legs on there. So you can do whatever the hell you want with those. No fear of how you bend those because of the cloth legs there. Just pretty nice. And of course, if you were curious, Electro's ass. He takes electric farts and electric doo-doos. 
And if anybody actually cares as well, the boots on this guy are... I don't know what it is, but they actually look really nice to me. There's a, a slight like weather into this side and this side, but it's a different paint application, so a different pattern on each, which makes it a little bit more realistic. Everything's just 3D sculpted on there, but you do see the little laces. The overall paint application and look and flow of these boots on the body is really, really nice. And last but not least, our stand. I do want to note, no crotch grabber on this guy, so you have to have this clutched around his waist somewhere, which possibly could cause some damage. So I was a little disappointed that there's no way to swap this out and have a crotch grabber. But remember, you can have this piece just grab a leg or something like that or his thigh instead of actually having this around his waist. So there are other options. And then, of course, at the bottom, we have this beautifully branded stand. A bright, vibrant electro picture and name tag are dead center with the Max Dillon on top. It's just like an extra cherry on top, given his actual name. And then, of course, below, we have the Marvel Studios Spider-Man No Way Home. I mean, this stand is probably as good as you can get until you get into the custom area. And, of course, just a quick side-by-side -side with Spider-Man. Now, to the right, we have a Tom Holland Spider-Man, and to the left, we have a game masterpiece version of Spider-Man. So the left one, we don't really need to take too much to heart. It's really about the Tom Holland version to the right. And, well, what immediately comes to mind is there's no goddamn way that Tom Holland is taller than Jamie Foxx. I just can't believe that that's accurate. And based off of this shot, they're clearly saying that Jamie Foxx is a little bit shorter than Tom Holland. Me, personally, once it gets merged into the shelf, it's not a gripe or anything that I give a crap about. However, it is interesting to see these guys side by side and say, well, is Tom Holland actually taller than Jamie Foxx? And there we have it. Jamie Foxx's version of Electro from Spider-Man No Way Home. And I said it earlier, but I'm going to say it again. Arguably one of the best Spider-Man movies of all time. And I know people are like building an army out there, basically trying to collect every single villain in every single suit from that movie, which becomes like this addiction almost to us collectors. I actually enjoyed the Electro he did in Spider-Man 2. That's a rant from another day. The movie was kind of trash, but I still liked his character. And it was obviously brilliant having him come back. So for us to be able to have a couple different iterations of this Electro on our shelves is amazing. The head sculpt is awesome. Articulation is, well, dare I say piss poor. But I think for Electro and what you're actually trying to pull off... It really doesn't matter, and personally, I don't give a crap about the articulation as this guy spins in front of me. Again, I say this sometimes, I almost want to chuckle because it looks so goddamn cool. The electric bolts all over him, the wires, this more realistic, rustic approach to Electro is amazing. Fantastic tailored suit, paint applications are spot on, whether it be his face sculpt, the items through him, the arc reactor, or the boots... So, with all that said, so, with all that said, I think it's a perfect time to segue into a score on this guy. And honestly, what comes to mind immediately is a 9.2 out of 10. I mean, this is a goddamn amazing piece to have on our shelves. And with a 9.2 out of 10, I highly suggest picking this piece up because I guarantee it's going to sell out. Almost all Spider-Man villains end up selling out. I mean, get your Morbius now or anything that's coming in because they all sell out. $250 to $280 price point, you cannot go wrong with this release. So, with all that said, in a 9.2 out of 10, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here today at Casey Toys with Electro from Spider-Man No Way Home, another classic knockout piece by Hot Toys. We got Jamie Foxx. We got yellow. He's not blue. Catch you guys next time. Rawr!